Good evening from the Palouse, and welcome to our nightcap of college hoops on FS1. And here at Beasley Coliseum, we've got the back half of the home and home between the Oregon State Beavers and the Washington State Cougars, who won in overtime on Monday night. Beavers, not surprisingly, come out in the zone defense with the short bench. Have to stay out of foul trouble. To start with Muhammad Gay in the front court, Deshaun Jackson making his first start for Washington State since early January. Jackson missed 10 games, more than a month of the Pac-12 schedule with an eye injury. But since his return, the Cougs have won the rebounding battle in four straight games. And now an offensive foul on Glenn Taylor Jr. Wayne Tinkle saying recently, this is the only time in his career where they have had a team that really hasn't come together at some point. Took the blame for that, says that's on me, but Lav, also the head coach who took the Bees to a Pac-12 tournament title in the Elite Eight last spring. One of the more remarkable runs by a team in Pac-10, Pac-12 history in terms of early struggles and then catching fire at just the right time. Catching fire from Noah Williams. A slot three and a 5-0 start for the Cougs. And a hot start for the Washington State Cougars looking for their 10th league victory here tonight on their home floor. Washington State here needs a good possession, settle down, run a set, get organized, get a good look. Flowers goes to work. Soft touch off the window. Wow, how about the acceleration? Williams backing his man down. Scores left shoulder, Noah Williams. And Lucas has rushed his last few shots. Oh, what a play by Abagidi. Couldn't flush it, but adjusts in midair to get the two. Now trailing the play, he wipes it away. Abagidi at both ends. Running the floor, reward the big fella. Catches in midair, impressive body control, puts it in softly, takes the spill, gets right up, gets down on transition defense, and blocks a shot from behind. Oregon State locked in as the 12, so unlike last year when they were a five, they still had to win four games in four nights. But it's a little bit different this time around because they'll be the bottom seeded team. Boy, did Washington State need that. T.J. Bamba gives them a lift from distance to snap their spell. Only six scholarship Beavers available, plus walk on Dyshawn Hobson from Corvallis. Rodman downhill, able to whirl that right hand in. Yeah, good decision by Tyrell Roberts there to drive it. A kind of a race by Abagini. Now the Cougs looking to transition. Bamba toes the line and buries the triple. Has a glance to the Oregon State bench as well as he celebrates the three. Washington State getting more organized offensively. Another strong take from DJ Rodman. Sometimes it's that basic. Explore the paint, a little dribble penetration. Flowers. Oh, he hit that from Idaho. He's swarmed by that Cougar defense, and they pry it away from him. Well, one of the few bad decisions he's made this evening. Roberts sees one go through after an 0 for 7 start. 5 of 12 from deep so far tonight. Back cut. Denied. Right idea from Jared Lucas, who's been run off the three-point line this evening. Uh, no hesitation, no conscience offensively. Gay hits the offensive glass. Bamba! How oh, with nasty intentions! Put that one on a poster. Woo! Now Flowers showing off the handle. Gets cut off baseline. Gay, knifing through. Got all the way home, Muhammad Gay. A good decision by Gay. Uncontested board for Flowers. Well, not the shot that Wayne Tinkle wanted from this Beaver team. Good take, opportunistic Flowers. And Wayne Tinkle reaching into his bag offensively here with a short bench. Flowers puts the Cougs back on the high side. Flowers missing. Cleaned up by Silva. Look at Flowers trying to rip it away. Able to check it over to Muhammad Gay. We're not going to sing any songs about that sequence loud, but it counts as two for Washington State. Amba defensively. Got him airborne. Return pass from Rand. Erased. 
Deshaun Jackson on the defensive end for Washington State. His first start since early January, you felt his presence. Here's that zone defense. You'll see them point, communicate. Lead claimed by Roberts. On one possession, the Cougs take it right back. Rand with a lot of work to do from the floor. Williams fired it off of Beaver. But Karen Sabamba on the move, takes the contact, and converts T.J. Bamba. Who's with a four-point lead in the basketball. Well, Steve Nash-like dribble penetration. Abagini pays it off, buries a big one. Washington State going to use some clock here, understand time and score. The key is to get a good one at the end of it. If you want to put a nail in the coffin, don't force and take a bad shot. Gay on the blow-by. Hangs and hits. Muhammad Gay with a chance for a three-point dagger. Out to the top. Akano fires inside. Good mall movement by the Beavers, but nothing to show for it. 16 left on the shot clock and two minutes to go. Yeah, Gay with those good feet and the length recovers well. Provides help, good high hands, just swats it. Ninth team block of the night for the Cougars. If you're Oregon State, you don't have to premeditate, predetermine launching a bad three point shot. Attack the rim, score, set your defense. You gotta go quick, and get a good look. Lucas rising, missed the three, got it back. Couldn't relaunch it. Over to Kalu, over two defenders. Silva fighting for the rebound. Muhammad Gay had it poked away. The clock expires, and Washington State has swept Oregon State. For the first time since 2012.